We are rarer. <laughs> that story I told you earlier, though? What? About the person I was talking to talking about how they peed in a girl? Yeah. Like, peed in them. I know. Have you guys ever peed in a girl? All the time. Really? Yeah. Is Isn't that, that a thing? How, that's how you fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> My mommy told me yeah. that's where babies go. You from. put it in and you piss. And then, then you're done. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not sitting there like a toaster strudel looking at you waiting for the fucking towel after you're done. That would be amazing if it was. Is that what you get after sex? A towel to toaster strudel? No. She looks like a toaster strudel oh. after I'm done pulling out and fucking was, spraying it on her. She's waiting for the fucking towel while I'm getting up and fucking... <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going about my day. Yeah. You have fucking... Yeah. Yeah. That would yeah. be amazing, though. The second you come, she goes and gets you a sandwich. Oh, yeah. Like a towel and she's like... Wait, that doesn't... They don't all do that? <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. God damn. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. All right. Uh, welcome, everyone, to the We Are Air podcast. This is Duck. I'm here with... Jake. And... For some reason, I was about to say Jake, because I'm sitting where Jake is. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say... Oh. Uh, here, wait. Let's try this again. Hobby. And, and... Jake. Uh, yeah. And we, have a, we have a very special guest today. We have Mr. Ethan Eastwood. Say hi, Ethan. What's up, y'all? Does this mean I get to be Ducks? And no. Are... He said say hi, Ethan. Yeah. Hi, Ethan. There we welcome are. Welcome to the show, Ethan. There you go. And now Sorry. I'll be Ethan, I'll be Dak. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, what is We Are Era Podcast, a podcast where we talk about movies, entertainment, whatever the fuck we want to talk about, especially when we're drinking, which we are going to be. And today, I, I've been super excited about this subject. Yeah, give me a little dramatic music. All right. We're gonna do the hot takes. Hot takes today. Ouch. Oh, yeah. That's hot. Hot takes. Hot takes. So what we're going to do takes. is we're going to do hot takes. I've been thinking about this all week. There are certain things in this world that bother me. And I have said it, and Javi was a little bit offended, but he is king of the hot takes. I'm not yep. king of the hot takes. You are, are fine. You're queen of the hot takes. You Whatever you want to be, you are king of the hot takes. Meaning. I thought he was king of the hot snakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it? <laughs> yeah. it wasn't snakes. It was king of the hot steaks. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, you got them well, snakes. Man, I wish I was the king of hot snakes. I like mine medium rare. What's, what the hell's a hot snake? It's when the diarrhea comes out of you like a hot oh. snake. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I was saying, the hot snakes. I got yeah. hot snakes and bubble gut. <laughs> that but was a hot take. Javi <laughs> is known for giving a hot take on almost any subject ever. That means we will say something as simple as, oh, they're making a new Disney live action movie. Man, fuck that! <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> yeah. And he will I go and watch that fucking shit! And what you guys don't know is he goes on like a 10 to 15 minute rant about that sometimes. And I have to cut it down. <laughs> That's my hot take on that situation. <laughs> <laughs> that is not hot a hot take. take. That is, that is universally hot accepted hot here. Yeah. The hot take is him denying it. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to give some of our hot takes on stuff that bothers us and the reason why and see how everyone else feels about it. So I will go first if that's cool with everyone. Oh, I'm scared. Get it. Uh, hot takes. Hot takes. Oh, my hot take. Hot takes. Hot takes. <laughs> Let me take a shot. Oh, yeah. I need a That's, a, take that's a, a real hot yeah, take. Oh, uh, shot takes. Shot, shot takes. Shot mm, takes. Delicious. Very nice. Yeah, pass it over. Oh, yeah. Can you pass, pass it over, Shane? Yeah, give me some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a little bit. Give me, give me. Shot takes. Shot takes. Shot takes. All right. Uh, oh. Oh, that's like cool. napalm. I don't even know if I'm going to be fucking I lucked out in a fucking hangover last night. I don't think it's happening again. Well, yeah. You know when you wake up. dog, man. Well, that's true, too, but you know when you wake up and you're like, I should have a hangover, but I feel good? Is this a hot take? No, no, I'm just saying in general. I love yeah, it. I know, that's, it's one of the greatest feelings ever. You're like, I know I should be punished for what I did last night, but <laughs> thank you, God. The trick is to be constantly drunk so you don't have to worry about hangovers. <laughs> I'm afraid true. I'm going to die of the cumulus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Fuck hot TED Talks. Fuck that shit. What? Fuck all you motherfuckers who watch TED Talks. Act like you know anything from TED Talks. Fuck that shit right in the ass. The reason why 90% of the TED Talks that I have seen have always been about women being empowered because they got a little bit bitchy. Or they decided to embrace their sexuality. And by the end of the 10 minute talk, I never fucking learn anything. So, I, you know, there's like a million TED Talks. I think you're just watching the women empowerment TED Talks. I'm pretty talks. sure you, I think just you saw are one TED Talk. Yeah. 
about a woman. Yeah. Okay. Have you and seen the Reggie it. Watts TED Talk? No, that's a good one. The Go other ten percent. Let me finish the other ten percent. All right, quick. all right, all right. The yeah. other ten percent is always people telling you something you already know, like a guy going, "You know, if you get in shape, your sex life will be better." Well, no fucking shit. I knew that. Or, hey, if you eat right, you won't be so big. Yeah. Well, no fucking shit. Or it's somebody telling a story about how cool they were that one time over there. Right. TED Talks is bullshit. I will give you Reggie Watts was pretty good. Okay. And Did also, I know Adam how Drivers? quantum mechanics work. I don't need to hear a TED Talk on that. No, no. <laughs> See, I watched Adam Driver's TED Talk, that was a good TED Talk. <laughs> Fuck Adam Driver. So, <laughs> it's a hot take. Where do he, the... I mean, honestly, I, I, could, I can kind of agree with you. It's bullshit. I, it's a I'm lot of people watching, padding their... Yeah, I've the only watched a, a handful of them, but it's it's stuff that I'm interested in. What Not, I... I don't, like, sit there and, like, religiously watch them. Yeah. But the, I can... I see where you're coming okay. from. There is a lot of fucking bullshit it's on there. It's the culture that's built up around it. <laughs> people who watch it on a regular basis or have the podcast app or this or that, they always yeah. have a grandiose <laughs> sense of self-worth. I know so much because Ted talked to me. Probably the same cunts I listen to NPR. I do like. Oh, you got a way with words, yeah. really? Where did the TED Talk Maybe. touch you, Doug? <laughs> oh shit! Right on my Point. pee-pee. Do you guys like TED Talks? Uh, I don't mind some. I like when they have po- poets on. I, I like whenever they they're <laughs> talking about shit that they can't possibly know at all. Also, they're talking about like time travel and shit like that. Like, oh yeah, maybe this could happen. Right. right. For the most part, it is just fucking uh, people pulling themselves no. bullshit. Yeah. It is. It's masturbation on stage, and right. it's not funny. If you want to do that, go become a comedian. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I feel. Yeah. Tell me something I need to know. And every the thing that pisses me off about TED Talks is every time I watch one, I get excited because it's clickbait, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna learn something. Yeah. And by the end of the video, I'm like. Oh, I'm about to come, I'm about to come, I'm about to come. Oh. And then you're just one of Louis C.K.'s victims. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, am I wrong? Well, no. No, okay. no. But there's a few TED Talks out there that are just fucking <laughs> awesome. Right. They're, the, usually it's where there's like weird shit telling interesting stories and things like that. Yeah. The one that comes to mind for me is that guy who traded a paperclip for a house okay. indirectly. Yeah. Yeah, where he, he I know, the paper clip for something. Ted talk and, that, and but I know exactly else. what you're talking about. Damn, what? And he kept trading up all these different things until he eventually, yeah. by, you know, by. Uh, okay, that man's a fucking genius. Pop is it true? Property. Did we see the house? Did this we is go a there? true thing. Really? This actually happened. I haven't seen the TED Talk, but I've I've read about this story. There was also before. a man in Texas who bought a house for fourteen dollars. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. That was fucking dope. And also, the neighborhood hated I mean, him. Hated him guy. because he was black. Yeah, I'm yeah. Sure of it. <laughs> that was that was. There's a lot of white that's people on the, the news going like, "No, nah, we don't like them." That's like, fourteen dollars. I pay way more than that. That's exactly what they well. fucking you get. Fucker. And he's like, "Look, <laughs> I found a fucking flaw in the system. Yeah. I, found I was a like, go guy. Like that was awesome. Yeah, it was like use it, bro. He's in there in this fucking big." I was like, yeah, I don't know. They're all pissed off talking to the reporter yeah. and shit. And he had no furniture or anything, but he's like, I've got space. Yep. Come on in. Yep. How'd they find out he bought it for $14 anyways? Was he just going around? Oh, he went to the it? news and he's like, $14. Wait, did he bitch. buy it or was, he, or was this the case where, because uh, it was like abandoned for seven years and he had to inhabit it for two years? Yes. Yeah. And in which case, that you're the right He actually owner. didn't right. get to keep it because they, they were able to evict him. Because Cox, he, once man. again, he was black. Ugh. Damn. Had nothing to do with anything else. Fucking and you can read between the lines on the newscast. I was like, we don't take kindly to $14 <laughs> yeah. people here. It's fucked up. Who's ready for the next hot take? I will. Boom. Go ahead, Hobbs. What's your hot take? Fuck the Terminator series. Fuck the first one. <laughs> Fuck everyone after T2. <laughs> Fuck the shows on Fox. It's an overrated series. God. Don't like any of them. Don't like any of them. Except for T2, because T2 is the shit. I like the first two. Okay. I like half of that state. Why? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, why? Explain. First of all, the first one just did nothing for me. It's like, oh, cool, you got Corporal Hicks in there. Big fucking whoop. Come with me if you want to live. Don't really care. Don't really care. I find it not interesting at all. I think he defeated your argument right there. Well, come with me if you want to live. Yes. (laughs) So? I still, it's a hot take. I'm allowed to hate these things. Okay, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> I am entitled yeah. to this. T2 was a shit. I love T2. and okay. still watch it this day. T3, not good. Next up, no. It was just a bad movie. I found it to be fucking stupid. It was very comical. They they added a lot of fucking stupid, goofy parts in that fucking mm-hmm, movie. Sure. It, it th- did not follow T2 
at all. But also, we lost James Cameron on that one. He was not the director or the writer of that one. So it just, it fucking tanked hard. They tried redeeming it with Salvation, which had some, so had some, you know, some shining moments, but also it just fucking flopped hard. They fucking mishandled John Connor. Christian Bell took the role, even though people told him that he shouldn't, but he did it out of spite. So it was just him yelling and being angry. He wasn't actually fucking being Christian Bell in every other fucking movie where he destroys it. What amazing rant, too. Man. Yeah. Good for oh, you! But you know Good what? The, I, I've heard people fucking say on set that he was right yeah. about doing that. Like, they just caught a sound clip of him doing that, but this was going on. This was like the fucking 30th take that he had to take because of this shit. I'm, all, I'm right there with you. Je- Genisa? Genisis? Am I saying this right? Terminator Genesis. Terminator Jenna Jameson. That, that, that would be awesome. That whole thing should have stopped after T2. So this new one looks like it shows promise, though, right? They got Lemon Hamilton back. So. James Cameron's it producing it. They have the director from the first Deadpool movie. And a super huge feminist slant at this point, of which is course. bringing a lot of people yeah. against so the hot take. It's oversaturated. The original, the original T2 is the ultimate feminist movie, so right. fucking don't care. Yeah. I'm totally fine with it. Right. Hot take. Hot take. I just, I think they should have that, stopped at the T2. I've told you guys before, I'm a fan of every movie in that series. I've never been disappointed by Terminator movies. Never once. You like Terminator Genesis? I like Terminator. Genesis? I really like Genesis. 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 And Terminator 3, I saw it in theaters and had a blast. So I know it's not as good as the first two. But I've never been disappointed by Terminator. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Genesis. I got star sunglasses. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Yeah. Jimmy, we need your turbo man. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Fuck Terminator. Oh, also by the way, whatever is said is canon. So we all agree as a group. Fuck Terminator. Fuck Terminator. You win. Uh, no, we can't do it. Besides Terminator Two. Yeah. Other than Terminator Two. One and yeah. two were all right. That's what I said. I like and he only likes half that statement. I mean, it, some movies, they're fine with a sequel if they take the story in a good direction, and then you have movies like Independence Day 2. <sighs> they shouldn't have fucking done it. Is that your hot take? Paycheck. No. Because right. that's not a hot take. I'm pretty sure just about yeah, everyone, everyone agrees with that. Yeah, that's garbage. Yeah, he's right. All right, Ethan, what's your hot take? Uh, it's the okay. Randy Quaid of the sequels. Don't be mad at me. I'm not going to be mad at I love Randy Quaid. I like that video where he's fucking his wife. That was weird. She's wearing the fucking Richard yeah. Nixon mask. Yeah, but she got a, she got like a smoking hot body, so like it's a weird face, hot body, and I'm just like, I'm down with this. I am down. Yeah. 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 I can pull a Randy yeah. Quaid on a bitch. I'm glad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Give you the tricky dick. <laughs> 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 he's not like Randy Quaid. Uh, All right, hot take, Ethan. So I don't know if any of y'all have ever played any games in the series or anything like that, but Assassin's Creed. Every game in that fucking series is a waste of digital Ooh. space. That is right. the most garbage franchise I've ever seen that Preach. needs to die. I will say mm. for the most part. Mm. Mm. I played Origins and Odyssey, which were the last two, the latest ones. Those were actually pretty solid. But yeah, everything leading up to that was fucking shit. So, but even the last two weren't like great. It was It's yeah. the same thing over and over every time you fucking play it. I know anyone that's listening to this or has played in it or is a fan of that series, they'll give me shit because I have not played the first one. I have played the second. I've played Brotherhood. I've played uh, three bits of Black Flag. Black a Flag was garbage. But it wasn't even there complete, was it? Garbage. There are people that swear by complete that series. Complete with glitches. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And <laughs> from the beginning... I cannot stand how that game plays. I cannot stand the controls. The storyline is horrible. I, I don't like the story at all. Either. I don't give a fuck about Desmond Miles. Yeah, like with the fucking time travel shit. Yeah. Like, just what? let me play as yeah. whatever assassin. You have to and go roam around. back in the future yeah. and fucking. Oh, Gotta yeah. go back in time. Like, to me, it's something that you could make this awesome, but you had to make it some bullshit. You know? Oh, we have this machine that lets us go into your DNA. Yeah. And- Go back in time. It would be a much better story if they foregone the fucking time travel aspect, and it was just an actual uh, brotherhood, like it carried on the legacy. Like, you just, that's a thing. Like, I don't know. Jake is there with you, though. And on top of that, though, this is something I really can't stand in the whole gaming world right now, is microtransactions, little small purchases you can make in games for boosts or cosmetics. I know. I know. (laughs) It just kind of adds on to that shit, because Assassin's Creed has done that in their last so many titles. They've added in shit like that, and, you know, it's just adding more shit on top of a pile of shit right. that, you know, you that, just needed to set on fire. That's made up of their shit, of, that's made up of our shit that we made the meat. That's mostly EA fucking doing that shit, though, right? 
Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. I mean, fuck EA, but that's not a hot They're milking that shit. Yeah. Fuck EA. And Javi, you agree that's with good, this? Yo, that's a good yeah. take. Yeah? Hate I that fucking shit. hate Assassin's Creed. Yeah? I never played it, so I guess I'm so with you guys. Right. I will say, if y'all get the opportunity, play the last two that came out, Origins and Odyssey. Those are actually pretty decent. Like, and it doesn't make you go back to the Avatar or whatever. Okay. Yeah, it, it does suck. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, you should play it, but it sucks. Uh, I am not a fan of the Harry Potter series. Oh, at all. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't. I don't give a I don't shit about it. Man, I I do not give a two fucking flying fucks about that shit. Um, Why? Behind my time, you know what? I think whenever I was seventeen, eighteen, I think the first Harry he was Potter already, book like, came out. Pussy by then, so. Right. Yeah, exactly. Why I like girls. So that's why. It's so much like, better than this Harry Potter <laughs> shit. I don't need it. someone to get my wand. Out. All right. <laughs> so you've never watched the movie? No, I, I've seen a handful. There, some of them are right. I remember watching The Prisoner of Azkaban. In Azkaban. My, uh, yeah, and uh, I ate half a chocolate bar with mushrooms in it, and that was fucking dope. But then I tried watching it <laughs> without the mushrooms. I was like, this shit fucking oh, sucks. So <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> it was better while I was high. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your experience God. was tainted by the mushrooms? No, know? I think uh, my experience was tainted by Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> I am a huge fan of the books. I The movies are here and there. Yeah. The extended shit that's come out recently is not great. But hey, that is what happens when you... I, see, I, I, yeah, I don't even um, give a shit about the fucking uh, the, uh, beasts or... Of bird oh, or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that, I, I mean, I'm it's a got fan. that one dude from Fanboys in it though. Uh, yeah, the yeah, funny yeah. one, got Dan the, Fogler. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Dan Fogel. Yep, Fogler. Yeah. Fo- is it Fogel? The new movies aren't I great. I, uh, I like old movies. I really like the books. The fifth book is really oh. fucking long. And fuck the blasted newt squirts or whatever they're called. Uh, how, how is the fucking author gonna retcon shit after she already wrote it? She's so. going to town on how it. How is she retcon? She's pulling a Stephen King on that shit, dude. She's going back and saying, "Well, this meant this, and this meant this, and Dumbledore was sucking everything." She's just trying to stay in the limelight and fucking gain more money off this yeah. shit. That's uh, all it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Right? Oh, I yeah. would milk that shit like crazy. After too. the last <laughs> book, she was like, "All right, I'm done with Harry Potter." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're that's done with her. Yeah, that's just like yeah, how we're all yeah, done with Star sure. Wars after the Last Jedi. Oh uh, God, that's my hot take right there. I, uh, whoa, fuck! As you're wearing a Boba Fett shirt, though, I know, I know. I'm wearing a goddamn Boba Fett tattoo on my fucking arm proudly with a fucking Boba Fett tank top on. Yeah, I'm kind of done with fucking Star Ooh. Wars after fucking Last Jedi. Hot take. I mean, I'm going to watch Rise of Skywalker yeah. and probably be like, God, it's so good. <laughs> I love it. They finish. And then you walk out and go, you know yeah, what? Yeah, you know what? Shit. Nothing can ever take away the original trilogy from me. Oh, I fuck. still Unless love that they shit. take away the exactly. original trilogy. Right. They already Which... took away Han from you. Yeah! Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did I strike a nerve there? Shut up! <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I love it. Ultimate power. I love it. Fuck Harry Potter. It's canon. It's uh, a, thank it's you. We all agree with that. But Shit. I think we could all agree with, like, fuck Hermione, too. Right? Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Fuck Hermione first. When I read the books, I didn't know it was Hermione. I thought her name was Hermione. Hermione? Hermione? I thought her name was Herman. Apparently not Hermione. <laughs> I literally would read it and be like, why is this bitch called Herman? Whatever. Yeah. Next page. Apparently not saying the book, it right. she's supposed to be black. In the really? stage play she is. Yes. Oh. Uh... Huh. That's also no the point does, author's retcon shit. Yes, he's right, because at no part during the books does it ever give a color designation to her, I don't They think. just talk about her having curly hair, us. and she like, found a way to fucking curly hair. pigeonhole it <laughs> into... Uh, I think she's black. Well, she's black and then... Because like, the way they would describe her hair was like, as like curly and frizzy. That's like white people saying nappy, so... Oh, hot take? Yeah, but let me ask you this. In the movie series, how many black wizards are there? Two. There's two that I've seen. Okay, two. so three. The Maybe entire three. kid. Okay, see that, that's a that's part of my hot take. I don't give a shit about this fucking. Hey, movie. Yeah. I don't <laughs> watch it. So uh, that is actually a legitimate question. Yeah. All no, right, I think there's like three black wizards. One of which actually got lines in the movie. That's about. All right, my second. You know, it's take. weird because white people are usually wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the robe chooses the that, wizard. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was a KKK joke. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh my god. Uh, okay, hot take number two from me. Shit. If you smoke <laughs> cigarettes, which is fine, and you decide to quit by going to vaping, you did not quit smoking. 
You are still addicted to nicotine. Stop acting like you took a huge fucking step. <laughs> it is bullshit. You did not quit. You are still addicted. Actually try to quit smoking a pack a day like Duck did. Quit. Cold turkey. Not vaping. Now I did you. You know what? I need a cigarette. I'm feeling a little... All right, go ahead. (laughs) No, but no. It it pisses me off because the second people start vaping, they're like, I quit. Like, you didn't fucking quit. In fact, you can do it indoors now, you bitches. It pisses me off. They're holding it in their fucking hands. Oh, I totally quit. Yeah, I quit smoking. (laughs) Here. And actually, they drag in you every time they do that. They go... (laughs) Right in your face. And you're like... (laughs) It smells like pepperoni. Okay. Just admit that you're still addicted to nicotine. That's fine. That's true. Okay. But... I will fight you on this. All right, go ahead. Oh, because smoking cigarettes, I would argue, is still a lot worse than vaping. Don't just vaping. Vaping is still have, bad. No, no, no. The long-term results are not in yet on vaping. We that don't know true. that that shit is not doing anything worse to you. You're fucking inhaling propylene glycol. You know what that is? But they it put tastes that like shit watermelon. In air freeze. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is going to wreck these people's lungs and insides worse than fucking cigarettes. And right? they might grow a third arm or a fifth okay. eyeball or whatever. Oh, oh fuck. I, I need to start vaping. Yeah, that would be cool. I need that third arm. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I could be no, jacking off while I'm talking to somebody and use my aggressive hand gestures. Woo! <laughs> Vapors are the vegans of the smoking community. 100%. You are so fucking right, yeah. dude. That You are so <laughs> right. right. I quit like, smoking. Oh, I quit smoking. I vape, vape now. now. Oh, really? That makes you better than us, you fucking... And on top of that, when uh, vegans go, I'm a vegan, but I don't make it my you're thing. You're a cunt. That's like, what you like, are. So you had to bring <laughs> it up you're anyhow? You're a cunt. Yeah. I spent $2,000 on my rig. On the, on the what? They I got those fucking... It looks like a goddamn talk boy. It does. <laughs> like the, the vape thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're dude. Fucking they're fucking, fucking, yeah, and they it spend kills a people. Ridiculous Didn't that guy die in Arlington? They, they explode. Yes. Yeah. They're holding little bombs. Like, yeah, essentially. Every time I see someone vaping, I'm like, I don't want to die. Will you put that thing down? They it's explode. It's a lithium reactor. It's, yeah. kind of, it's like how, like, hi, my name is Miles. My preferred pronoun is vapor or vegan. <laughs> like, you're a fucking <laughs> pun is what you are. We call that a faggot. Thank you. <laughs> that's what that's called. Javi. You're going straight for the throat, aren't you, Doug? Right. 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 It's a hot take, brother. It's a hot it's take. It's absolutely hot a hot take. Javi's hot Spicy. take. Second hot take, Javi. Fuck Godfather Trilogy oh. and <laughs> fuck Scarface. Overrated pieces of trash movies that don't deserve the clout that they get. I like three-fourths of that statement. I like... <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm with Jake. Where, what is this coming from? I just don't like those movies. I think they're highly overrated. They're not as profound as Cinema Bus would lead you You don't like Al Pacino is what it's I love like. Did the horse's head uh-uh, scene no. bug you that much? Oh, so good. Oh, you don't. <laughs> oh, you don't like Al Pacino. She got her. <laughs> Cockroach. I, 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 you know you I love, love Al Pacino. Pacino. I just don't like Scarface. I also don't like Godfather movies. Why? They're boring. I don't like the movies that made Al Pacino Al Pacino. That's a hot take, dude. That is a way hot take. <laughs> Look, I, I, get, I can is... get with them on the I cannot so I get on like, their like... series. I cannot get on that train with you. I'm not expecting anybody to get on this train with wow. me. I've always but felt this. One and two are great. Take. That's a hot take, man. Yeah. One and two are amazing. Yeah. Three is utter shit. If you make it through the first ten minutes, you win. Like, that's all I've ever seen in the Godfather 3. I was like, I'm good. For it's sure. terrible. For sure. his fucking daughter directed the movie, though. I mean, she's in it, so... I no, mean, Sophia Coppola. I think he directed it, but he, he was originally going to cast Kirsten Dunst as the daughter, I think it was, which would have been interesting, but then she so dropped out, and they got Sophia Coppola to play the daughter. She, she dropped out to do an interview with a vampire? Maybe. No, no, because she would have been older than when she did that. No, because Godfather 3 came out before. They couldn't have been her. It must have been somebody yeah, else the then. Vampire. But that third movie, have you made it through it? I, I didn't watch the entire fucking series. I don't give a shit about Godfather. Oh, shit, he's on the page with you. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I saw I saw the first one, but part two I've seen pieces of. Didn't I? Didn't even give a part shit. Part one and part two. It, part two is amazing. Robert De Niro steals that fucking movie, and he don't even know it's Robert De Niro because in the flashbacks he comes in, and you're like, who is this actor? Because he is a young Robert De Niro and looks nothing like him. I'm pretty sure I can distinguish amazing. that it was Robert. De Niro. Oh, dude, he's amazing I, I in can that. Distinguish movie. that from the bits and pieces that I saw. And in the second movie, whenever they kill everyone at the end of it, like there's they're at this. I was like, where's this mohawk, dude? Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Bagel style. <laughs> yeah. And, and Scarface, too? Scarface. Really? They made a what Scarface, is, too? Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a directed DVD. Say hello to my second little friend. Oh, <laughs> fuck that. 
So that's where I'm like I'm losing this yeah. right here. Scarface, Scarface is the fucking is shit. Amazing. This I'm, is the fucking I'm, basis for Vice City. I know Grand Theft Auto Vice City has to be one of your fucking all time favorite it is, games. It's up there. I fucking love Tommy Versetti. I just I can't. Really so you get love Ray Liotta. I love Goodfellas. Ray Goodfellas is the definitive. Oh, it's good, I definitive love gangster Goodfellas. movie. Yes, it is. Right? For sure. Yeah. So what Absolutely. is it about Scarface that turns you off? Is it the scar on his face? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, like Scarface has been one of those ones that I try to watch. And I can get about halfway through and this was fucking... You know what? Your problem is, you were doing cocaine, Yeah, baby. You do cocaine and watch Scarface, you're like, I need a chance! Yeah, I need to do cocaine! That ending, dude, you think they're coming after you. You're like, oh, shit! Yeah, dude. Okay, so maybe that's why I have a soft spot for it, because I was... Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, doing a lot of... Yeah, while yeah, watching doing, that one. You were doing the old Dr. Roxo. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's like when we watched The Void and like the first 15 oh minutes, I mean, you were like, we had to shut it off yeah. because of what happens. You're like, I really need a cigarette. We went outside and had like a really in-depth conversation. Yeah. We were like, <laughs> we went into The Void yeah, and yeah, watching re- Into The Void. It really fucked us minutes. up. It really did. The other thing, though, is the, the best part of Scarface is at the end when she's like, you want to fuck me, Tony? Yeah. You want to fuck me? Oh, oh, you want to fuck me? And then she's blown yeah. away, dude. Cracks no, me no, up. No, no. Like, I know you're not supposed to laugh, but every time, you want to fuck me? Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is Consuela. Like, that's the fucking basis of her. No, no. No, no, Tony. No, no, Tony. No. All right. No, fuck fuck the, fuck. Fuck the Gadfather and fuck fast. Scarface. <laughs> Ethan, your second hot take, good sir. So I've become a big fan of all the Cinemassacre videos on YouTube. Yes, and AVGN. one of them, yeah, AVGN for sure, but also their like rental reviews. Mm-hmm. I've watched a fuck ton of those. I watched the one where they compared Temple of Doom to the Crystal Skull. Hot take. My hands about to fly. I better get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Crystal Skulls. <laughs> Indiana Jones needs to be recast. Hundred mm. percent. They need to get a new actor. To come in and tell a new storyline with Indy. Harrison Ford is done. He does not need to do a fifth movie. He did not need to do Crystal Skull. And it definitely did not need to be Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm halfway with you on this one. I think they just need to delete the fourth movie. Like the Star Wars holiday special. <laughs> just it's fucking gone. bury it. It's gone. And then just let it be. Don't make any more movies. You can do something else kind of similar but just well, don't even carry on like Indiana this, though, Jones anymore. It could be something like what they do with James Bond. You know, it started with Sean Connery, but now you've got, uh, what's the newest guy's name? Craig Houston, I think? Craig. Or Chris Daniel Evans. Craig. Craig something. Daniel, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Like his name's Craig. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm getting, God, I shouldn't have had that second shot. <laughs> Craig Houston's the guy that, he's one of the directors for, uh, one of the Call of Duty games. He's over that studio, so that's okay. why that name was on the brain. It was Craglin to me. Daniel Craig. <laughs> he, I like that. you know, I I think he's a great James Bond. I think you know them giving different people the chance to have a different interpretation of the character, <laughs> tell these new stories. That's fucking awesome. Indiana Jones could be something like that if they got the right actor. Okay, well they've already done that before. There's young Indiana Jones, which was a TV series. Yeah, but young it's not indie. Also in the third movie, The Last Crusade, in the beginning of it, River, River Phoenix. River Phoenix. Yep. Holy Jones. fucking and if he shit, wouldn't how have, great was that, And if though. he wouldn't have died, yep. maybe he could have been Indiana Jones by now. And there was rumors of Chris Pratt taking over as Indiana Jones, which if you watch the, those movies, that same level of charisma he has does match Harrison Ford, so it could work. It's very Star-Lord. There's also rumors that the same thing they're doing with the new Die Hard, where they do old John McClane, young John McClane. Not a great idea. Just they could do that shit fucking Jones. die. It's they, already died it hard die enough. Hard. It already died hard enough. And they are... <laughs> they should have stopped it after number three. They will be starting the, the best film one. Indiana one Jones 5 soon. I think they've already started filming. Uh, I believe so, and I think Harrison Ford is... Harrison ele- Ford is on board. He's yep. 11 at this point, and yeah. it makes no <laughs> sense, so... But... He's just in it for the paycheck, man. I cannot personally get on board with you, because I want to see one more with geriatric Harrison Ford going out there and going, let's get these fucking Nazis. <laughs> it's got to be the Nazis. It ain't going to be the Nazis. It's going to be like... It's gonna be like the fucking Russians again. Was it that? Let's get this fucking Nazis. All right, I'm gonna be your Sam. Sorry, <laughs> you, Doctor Jones. Hey, but not a hot take. Marion Ravenwood. Oh my sweet. Oh, who, who didn't have a crush 
watching Karen Ooh, Allen. I didn't Damn, until I grew up. Same thing with Sigourney Weaver. Didn't get it. About mm-hmm. the age of 25, I saw Ghostbusters. Nah. I was like, mm, yeah, I'm not nah, I, 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 I saw her in fucking bra and panties and fucking alien, and I'm like, no. No, no, no. No, no she you built like a stick figure. Galaxy Quest. <laughs> not even that. Uh, yeah, she had her fucking tits rocking in that. Yeah, Maybe she had an ass nice. lift or something. Yeah. I think I don't know. Jake, your second hot card. Card- Kardashians. I don't. I don't. I don't play Final Fantasy. I don't get it, and I don't give a shit about. God that. damn it! You have I'm to with you sit on next that. to Ethan. He agrees with that. I already I'm with knew you it. on that. Nothing. Don't fucking care. Not even Final Fantasy Seven. Don't fucking care. I know there's so many people that fucking love this goddamn game, but it does not even appeal to me one fucking bit. Do not give a two shits about it. Oh, so I got blonde spiky <laughs> hair. I'm a fucking blonde Goku guy with a giant sword. That's all the fuck it is to me. I don't give a fuck. Like, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> don't fucking care. Never once had a desire to play this fucking game. It's fucking retarded. <laughs> me around on it. You're fucking right. Like, <laughs> doesn't fucking I never, I never once had a desire to play this goddamn game. I was like, oh, there's eight discs? Great. This will be fun. I'm gonna play for the next year of my life. I got a fucking job. Fuck you. <laughs> was going to rebuttal, but I think you <laughs> turned me around, sir. You're I'm, right. I have a rebuttal, but after that, I'm, you didn't sway me. I just gotta respect it. Kudos, sir. Well, just, I don't, don't, don't care. I think mostly it's just because none of those games have aged well at all. That's, that's why they're redoing the seventh one now. I mean, hopefully it's good. I don't like that they're doing it. Episodic, yeah, hopefully it'll be though. on one fucking disc. It won't. <laughs> it won't. They're not even doing it in one fucking game. Jesus Christ! They're doing episodes. Oh, oh yeah, like a fucking great. Telltale I can, game. I can man. wait for that one. You get episode one. It'll probably go, uh, you know, a quarter of the way through the game if you're lucky. And I knew you gotta buy the next episode. It was so funny because as you're saying it, I just see the look in Ethan's eyes like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's I, was, a- I thought about this yeah. same hot take. I was yeah. like, man, I could do something with Final Fantasy, but I'm worried I'm gonna piss off Duck. No, it's <laughs> fine. No, I, he, he won me over. But he's right. What did, what spiky hair got to do, got to do with I mean, that. He got a punch spiky line. hair guy like Gurk. He got the punch line. <laughs> it was I the point. I felt ashamed. I was literally like, if I had a cloud <laughs> tattoo, I would have been like, no. <laughs> I always want to rebuttal with fuck Boba Fett. That's, no, I want that because I love no. Boba Fett. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my third hot take isn't as great. It's actually based upon everything that's going on right now with this Epstein stuff. I'm going to say fuck the liberal news media. And you guys know I'm pretty liberal. And I lean way left. These fucking like pussy dick. ass bitches refuse to even mention anything about this case because they know it is tied to the Clintons. And at first, I didn't think that. First, I was like, pedophiles go to jail all the time. They get murdered. That's great. That's what fucking happens. I'm happy that if he got killed because fuck this guy, he raped children. But the fact that the liberal media refuses to do any news stories on it, do anything about it, have totally rejected everything, just like, oh, he died, makes me feel like maybe something's going on. No, he was suicided. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. So He stabbed himself 38 times in the back and threw himself off a bridge. Yeah, exactly. just like uh, that Clinton's friend that shot himself in the back of the head. Exactly. Yeah. And before, I never thought anything of it. I had a co-worker come to me who's very right-wing, and she goes, do you, do you think he did it? I was like, yeah, he killed himself. And two days later, I was like, I don't fucking know anymore, because no. the news disappeared, and I said, the right is still talking about it, the left refuses to. You know how Something many, weird here. You know how many fucking people... Were supposed in this document or in this fucking ledger that he had. The like, Heath? I mean, even fucking Chris Rock was in there. What? There's so many celebrities. Was Heath about? Ledger in the ledger? <laughs> the Heath Ledger. That's the why. Ledger. That, that's probably why he fucking OD and killed oh, himself. Sh- 
Uh, Mary Kate and Ashley. You said the Hot best tech. thing. You said the best thing in the D and D when you like. Way. No one said the Heath Legends is the Ulster Department. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, was, that was great. But, that's, uh, but you're saying that they there are like so. There's a bunch of celebrities tied to this fucking shit. Also, oh, apparently, shit. but also a lot of like all the people in power and people of fucking great stature and fucking celebrity. They're all kind of tied into this shit. So, so obviously, to me, there. they had somebody fucking go in there and do it. They took them off Suicide Watch. And the two... How weird is that? Why would you have him on suicide and watch the and then take him off suicide the watch? two people... He had bruises all over his body. And that's what I'm saying. It's before... There, there were two people on staff and they did not do their rounds. You have the most high-profile person ever in the United States at that moment in your jail cell and you didn't do the rounds. They're like, hey, man, you want to watch and this also, suicide? Yeah, exactly. What is the consequences Jeez. of that? So at first, I was like... I was like, no, it's fine. But once I realized they weren't reporting it, I was like, fuck this shit. You oh. fucking left slanted yeah. sons of bitches. You fucking pussies. The Clintons are notorious it. murderers. Yes. And I'm sorry if y'all don't agree with this. No, I agree with even, this. Even uh, uh, Norm MacDonald even said, yeah, uh, yeah, he, he killed a guy. I know. I remember. <laughs> like, Dude, do you remember the movie Primary Colors with John Travolta? Yeah. yeah. That is based, based on, on him. Bill Clinton before he was president. Yep. And what he did. And if you guys have never seen that the movie. The fucking mm, Arkansas fucking mafia. It's insane, dude. Check out that movie. And John Travolta does a fucking killer job in that movie, too. But it is about how no Bill was fucking killer job. everything that moved. He was taking money like crazy. Special interests like nuts. And he got away with it. And he became president. And his wife knew the entire time. And then he shoved a cigar up that girl's pussy. Yeah, dude. That was fucked up. Y'all remember it. that? Yeah, man. Did he, She's did he fucking smoke it? smoking hot. I mean, Winston. We've already... I mean, Winston. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you the, the nude pics. And he said that it was a different... He said it was Sonny Leone. That was Monica Lewinsky that I fucking said. Monica Lewinsky's fucking hot, then. Yeah. And would she you? looks like she gives amazing blowjobs. I would dude. totally shove a cigar up her pussy and oh. smoke it. I'm just saying, dude. He's right, though. She's got them sucker puckers. Like, oh, no. And she's kind of thick and she's brunette. Everybody knows that thick one has to the best head. And she's always bitching about how it ruined her life. Like, one blowjob can ruin your life. Dave Chappelle said it best. One blowjob can make you fucking famous. Hey, That's yeah. how famous Bill Clinton was. She yeah. sucked his dick and now she's yeah. famous. All right, Horvy, you slut. Sleep. You slooty booty. What is your third hot take? The remakes... And the reimaginings in Hollywood have got to fucking stop. Fuck, come up with something original. I'm done. I don't need to see a fucking movie that was made 50 years ago done in today's time. You don't like a Star is Born remake? No. Is this a hot take? I don't know if this is a hot take. This is just me grumpy. This is, you this is always, me, you always do this. This is me being a grumpy. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 go on. I want to hear this because I'm, I, I'm, I agree with you, but also. I'm just tired of fucking okay. remakes. First of all, and The Lion King being labeled as live action? It's animation. How? Right. In what world is that live action? Because he used real fucking backgrounds. That's about it. Look, I'm spinning up the mic. The, the Jungle Book was more of a live action. So was Dumbo. But there's no humans <gasps> in the Lion King remake, right? No, Those, it's a cartoon. That's it a cartoon. Right. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's all CGI. It's an animated. It's animated. It's but cartoon. it is John Favreau also, yeah. right? It, evidently, it's not great. But oh, yeah. you know what? And this is the whole thing I keep telling Javi. Aladdin was pretty good. I'm I still lie. believe... I don't believe you. It is. I don't it fucking is. care. Don't you know, I'm sure it was, it was great. Bad. I'm sure it was great. Uh, all the actors were fantastic. Great at being shitty. <laughs> to me, you can't remake that movie. Because it is not the classic Disney Aladdin without Robin Williams. It's yeah. different. It's I love Will same. Smith. I, I'm sure he tried his best and did great. Oh, he did and his I'm sure best he, at being Will Smith. I'm sure he had a fantastic take on the genie. <laughs> I've said this before. Fucking dead no, shot like, killed it in the last. No, there's no take on the genie. It was just Will Smith yeah. being Will Smith. And actually, I got it. he even did a beep like boom, chicka, boom, boom, chicka. And Whatever he came out of the fucking lab, did they go boom? And his same fucking boom, boom, boom. Actually, he does. Boom, 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 boom. He does this. Now, this is a story of a genie in a lamp. <laughs> yeah, the actually they do beatbox and do all. I fucking oh, knew he would. He's just Will Smith, but he's fucking blue. Big whoop, they fucking do for like a no portion of the shit. movie. Also, just I Will think Will Smith is Will Smith. You're just a you're fucking right. genie. It's not bad. I'm going to say it again. I want to fucking throw something at you right now. It's not bad. Like and that's it. the alcohol uh, talking, but also a little bit more sober self talking <laughs> right now. Just I'm enough slurring. of the sober self for it to count. It's not bad. 
You yeah. need to stop saying that. <laughs> You're a bad person. All for right, saying this. I'm not gonna lie. You are a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> It was the concern uh, on your face, like you're going to hell. Yeah. Like, I don't. Believe, you need some psychiatric I help. I don't believe any of that shit. But you know what? This place is before because Scarface is a remake. For you saying that, yeah, it wait, is. what? It is. It is. What? it is. Yeah, it was made in like 1937. Uh, Howard Hughes directed it, I believe. Yep. But for you saying that, I don't believe in God or the devil or anything like that. You're going to hell for that fucking <laughs> statement, bro. Hell, man. I'm just curious, then. You rat bastard. Oh, fucking now the look at how she calls. Fucking yeah. at the podcast. I have the tables have turned. So, I'm just curious, though. What is your opinion on, I guess, sequels or... Slash reboots. Se- yeah, reboot sequels. So, so, like well, Jumanji with The Rock. The... Just for example. It okay. wasn't bad. First it was all, great. I thought it was awesome. I'm starting to lump The Rock in the same category as Will Smith. Yeah. No matter what he's in, he's yeah. always just going to be Dwayne fucking yeah. Johnson. Yeah, he's There's the no rock. range. He's just in great That's all he does. What the I mean, oh, that's cooking. There's it so is. many actors out there, though, that have a fantastic career by doing just that. Jim Carrey, Norm Macdonald, Will Ferrell. Right. Yeah, but where Stuff do they like end that? up miserable? Jim Carrey right. is a fucking mess. Depressive. Somebody That's because his wife be... died, though. Oh, no. Somebody, uh, he wasn't married to her, number one. Number two, he was blamed for killing her because he gave her drugs. Number three, and the most important, somebody said to me once, he's such a positive person. I said, he is on the edge every interview you see that motherfucker in. He's I know, insane. Did I you know see what his a, rant about Emma Watson? What a that crazy was, person no, looks like. That? That he looks creepy. like a crazy person. Like he, had like a, like, he was doing a selfie video about Emma Watson, and all of a sudden, like, he, like, started to choke up and shit. He pretty much... Like, super creepy about it. He was declaring his love for her yeah. and said how much he wanted to fucking bang her, pretty much. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Jim Carrey's probably in a lot of Deadpools. Because I guarantee you... God damn, he's going to be in my fucking addendum and come October. I, w- I wouldn't be surprised. Add, uh, I would not round. be surprised if he also... Is that the himself? wild card round for the Deadpool? We're going to add two more because we've missed... So many this year. I think I, me, Will, and Jay are in a Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, seen the list. Yeah, but yeah. Wait, what are you in the Deadpool who, for? Who all has croaked so far on your list? <sighs> Nobody. Like, really? We, we haven't hit a single person. Every time a celebrity dies, we're like, this person what died. Man? No score. Like, Damn. But like, when is o- come October, we're going to uh, each add two more to our list as a sudden death wild card round. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you need to add Jeez. Wolford Brimley to that list. He could die again. Die beardus. Zombie Brimley. Is he still alive? Yes. Yeah. Nah. I, I thought so. he died like 20 years ago. He's like, this no. is how I know that he really doesn't have diabetes. He's just pushing the diabetes. No, I think his done. wife died of diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she died. Also, I have a video yeah. of him eating She the died ice cream. after he beat the <laughs> shit up. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I died, beat us, and beat her. Uh, and then she died. I, yeah. I want to add to this. Okay, go ahead. I, I agree with uh, Javi on this a little bit. Orvie. So, Corvy. Who wants a PG-13 RoboCop movie? You're right. You're right. It did have Michael Keaton, but it didn't save it. Yeah, dude. I, the only cool part bullshit. about that movie is whenever you see him in bits and pieces, and they tear him apart, and he goes, this is what's left. That was the like, only cool literal part Literal bits and pieces. It was awesome, dude. That part, I was like, whoa! But other than that, the movie's forgettable. Yeah. 100% forgettable. Are there any good remakes other than Beauty and the Beast, which Javi loves because of Dan Stevens? Mm. That beast. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, there was a good remake. Oh, uh, True Grit. That was fantastic. That was a great yeah. remake. I, I love the original True Grit with John Wayne mm. and fucking Glen Campbell and yeah. fucking... Uh, and John Wayne Gacy, Gacy, the clown in there. Yeah. How about uh, It? It's good. It's great. Yes, it yeah. is better. Than the fucking oh, absolutely. original. The, I forget yeah. the guy's name. I think it's like Skarsgård or something. Yeah, the guy so Bill uh, yeah. Who played Pennywise. He fucking killed it. Perfection. He, and he's in Castle Rock. He's amazing. Castle Rock, which is the Stephen King based on his works. Yeah. series, So fucking good. And he he plays, was also the regurgitator or some shit in Deadpool, Deadpool 2. Yeah. Yeah. I the, bet you he's a huge star. That guy's coming up. And he's related to like Stellan Skarsgård, who's in Thor and shit like yep. that. Yeah. Goodwill hunting. Javi, though, fuck. Uh, what he was say? also a, Eric Zelvig in uh, the MCU. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, in Thor. What you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thought, yeah. one that comes to mind, though, is, uh, and I know it's actually a spiritual sequel Tron Legacy. If yeah. If you ever saw that. Okay. Hot so, 
That's a hot take in itself, right? A little there. bit. <laughs> I I think um, I love that movie the, to the death. technology wasn't quite there no. yet to de-age Jeff Bridges. In it, it was like almost like, there. Yeah, it got close. like you could tell, like watching it, his mouth didn't move right and shit. But it works within that universe. Oh, of course. Ish. Oh, I killed it. And so one of the best soundtracks ever. Also, the score. Uh, oh Daft my god, Punk, they fuck, yeah. fucking nailed it. Even. Yeah. Oh, but so good. once again, everything we say is canon. Fuck remakes, fuck reboots. Yeah, yeah. For the most part, I'm with you. Score. Ethan, third hot take, good sir. Censorship Ooh. in gaming. Yeah, Ooh. all the way across the board. It is horrendous right now. They are censoring way too much, and there is it, it's. But video games are making the kids violent. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's the, game. the games. Um, can we make money violent? off of these deaths? People are learning from Candy Crush how to use an AR-15. <laughs> right. This is unacceptable. That's It's insane. But it's actually not him doing that. It's not right. else around him. All the other politicians yeah, and whatnot. But No, censorship in gaming is starting to get out of hand. And I'm talking in just about all the aspects. So, for example, Nazism, that is still a bit of a hot take in gaming. Porn, of course, that's always been uh, a hot take. (laughs) Hot take. And just things like that. What is too far in gaming because it's so interactive? So something that comes to mind is, and I think Germany has kind of turned the, the table on this a little bit, but when... Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. When that came out a couple years ago, or last year, whatever it was, that game. there was Not two the different. Not the newest one, but the one before that. Wolfenstein the new one too. You're talking about the one that just came out yeah. a month or two ago. No, you, not Youngblood. Okay, not Youngblood. yeah, that's what I'm the one right yeah, I got the that. one before that. Yeah, Youngblood's garbage. We don't. The kind of edit the swastikas in it. So yeah. So they did a lot of things to kind of just not even acknowledge that it was part of that World War II alternative universe kind of thing. There was two different copies of the game that sold. The one that was stateside and most everywhere else where it had swastikas, the yeah. Hitler in the game was Adolf Hitler, They've had the mustache. That yeah, They've and that's, that's always been Germany. In Germany, right. they don't allow for any Nazi propaganda because there's a fear that it will re-rise. They so. don't allow it. In games, uh-huh. but in cinema and art, as well as some music, it is allowed. Is, if yeah. it's, I think it's if because it's that is artistic depicted. and tasteful. Gaming is not considered oh, a form saying. of art over there. That's bullshit. well, we even had to deal with censorship in the the eighties because Nintendo censored a lot of the religious imagery that came over in their games. They had to change that. Such as Castlevania. There's a bunch of crosses and stuff like that. There were uh, they took statues. the crosses out of it. They took the crosses out of it. Also, there were marble statues where there was boobies hanging out, and oh. they covered. That's them another up. big thing: is the sexualization s- in games. Sweet eight bits. Uh, so, oh man, I'd be a lot of them. the games that come over from Japan, and this includes popular shit like fucking Persona. Even you know my f- that is my favorite fucking game series of all time. It's fantastic. It changed my life. They've even censored that to the point where certain characters will have, you know, they'll show less cleavage. They'll show things like that. And sure, right. it's not important to the game, but... I want to see them titty. <laughs> oh, <let's laughs> yeah, amazing. exactly. I but want them titty. <laughs> it's one of those things that it's like, who are you to tell me that I am not allowed to have that in my game? It's rated M. It is fucking... Right. You have so, to be 17 at least to yeah, oldest. If, or if you want to bump it up, make it AO. That's a rating that you can use. Right. If that's the NC-17. Yeah, nobody wants to do that to yeah, their game. No, no that course. would fucking ruin them. Because you I'm can't sell that at Walmart. That fucking GTA is an AO. It needs to be. I is think Dinner it Life, should be. Is Dinner yeah. Life Beach Volleyball AO? Oh, I no, know. I think that's... That was fucking awesome. That was bad. I want to see them. But it is. You know, uh, and a lot of the issue of the rating system comes down to they don't play through the entire game. They don't see every it's little the same ad. Thing right. with films. They play like maybe an hour. Right. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, yeah, slap an M they're on there. They're supposed to yeah, say, g- give us your most extreme content, we'll look at it. The ESRB, I know a lot of people, gamers, like a lot of people will go against it, but if you rewatch those court hearings, they don't know what they're talking about because this is all new to them. Like the Senate, yeah. you look at those hearings, they're going like, this is this and this is this, and they're going extreme. That's the way it has to be presented. And the, what came out of it is Joe Lieberman said, you guys need to take care of policing yourself or else we're going to do it. They formed the SRB. There's nothing wrong with that. As for an NC-17 in film is a death nail to your film. It is. Right. Same thing. Yeah. Mature title most likely is going to be death nail. So there are a lot of things that are censored so people can sell more games. But the, the yeah. things, the, the people that are actually consuming this are in the 20 to 40 year old range. Okay? These fucking kids, they play Fortnite and fucking Minecraft. 
adults play video games now because we grew up with this shit and it's evolved with us as we evolved. But we must say this, and we experienced this a couple weeks ago. Online gaming is brutal as fuck. The way that the kids were talking to us when we were playing Friday the 13th, <laughs> yeah. I was... Looking new Master 69. Oh, dude, yeah, so... going to town on us. It was scary. Yeah. It was I'm... scary. Right. So, at what point... That should have been so, adult only. Exactly. So, how do they not... They can censor the games, but they can't censor the fucking kids on That's there. Why, uh, like, there's... It, it's one of those things that's... Uh, how do you moderate that? You because... Can't. Exactly. You can't. But, on the contrast to that, I say... Parents. And I don't know if y'all ever... Yeah, it, it comes down to parent responsibility. Do yep. you want your kid to be able to watch and absorb this? Right. And to a degree, yeah, they shouldn't be fucking playing Dead by Daylight, Friday the 13th, oh, no. you know, Doom, even the fucking 2016 oh, God, remake yeah. of Doom. Hey, Fuck hey, no. Hey, hey, I grew up on Doom. <laughs> yeah, the original shit. That probably explains my fucking attitude. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, my kids will be playing that. Right. They'll be playing that growing right. up, but it's a fucking bloody massacre, yeah. and it, it comes down to, you know, are you using common sense? When raising your kids and showing them and letting them play these games like that, are you even paying attention to that? They're not. Trust me. Yeah, most hand, of them aren't. Trust like, me. I don't know yeah, what a video right. game yeah, is. They're back there playing their games. I'm in here trying to do my shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Trust me. All right, so fuck censorship, which I agree with. That is good. Yes. Jake, what is your last hot Ooh, take? Hot take! I got, uh, I got two. I don't All know. right, hit them. Uh, don't give a shit about Dragon Ball Z. Speaking of Final Fantasy Oh my 7. god, Yes! <laughs> Don't fucking care. All right, why? It just, it never appealed to me. Like, I tried watching it whenever I was younger, maybe 13 or he's 14. I now. know, I know. He's, <laughs> he's like Kermit the Frog looking out the window right <laughs> now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You need to just just go back to where you came. Like, like, so, I uh, I tried watching it. Uh, the, they got the fucking green guy with the fucking antennas and Pick shit. But, yeah, oh, would you yeah. like to name all Say the characters? Say his name, Mr. Use his name, Mr. Jeremy. Piccolo. Uh, I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Uh, the, the, uh, what, the, what's the fucking midget Krillin with the fucking dots on I his like face? Krillin. Don't give a shit. Like, it just you knew the name, it, though. Because I, I, I tried watching it whenever I was younger with my uh, cousins who were like two and three years younger than me. They loved this shit. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? I guess shit? they must be the cool cousins, then. Oh, yeah, oh, I guess so. so burn. Yeah. yeah, what is this? I reach a certain level and I turn into a monkey <laughs> and I grow a tail. Like, what the fuck? Has anybody actually got all the fucking balls yet? Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? I don't understand this shit at all. And I got spiky hair that never moves. <laughs> I can ride on a cloud. <laughs> I can be dead for two seasons and come back one later. You get these fucking idiots wearing fucking unitards with fucking goddamn little green lenses over their eyes. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, nine thousand. What is that? I don't. I don't fucking care. All right. What do they? How's he turn blonde? And his hair gets even more fucking stupid and spiky. And then he grows a goddamn tail. He's part ape. He de evolves. Like, what the fuck is going on with this goddamn show? His hair turns blue when he gets even more powerful than yellow. It doesn't help that it fucking... Gets better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have blonde hair now, so I can kick even more ass. <laughs> Wait, what the hipster. fuck does that even mean? Javi. Yo. Go ahead. All right, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> riding a cloud? Oh, let me get my cut. <laughs> first of all, him riding a cloud, that's Dragon Ball. Okay. In Dragon Ball Z, he flies. So if you're gonna make this distinction, make it right. It's the same fucking thing, and they both fucking suck. They don't suck. They're masterpieces made by Akira Toriyama. They're absolute. The garbage. best thing that motherfucker did was Interstellar fifty five fifty five. I don't know what that means. That's the fucking <laughs> Daft Punk fucking movie that he did. Dragon Ball Z is an amazing series. Granted, yes, it can be a little bit long winded. Yeah, like quiet. when Goku first went Super Saiyan, it took fifteen episodes. What? I'm not lying. What the fuck is Super Saiyan anyway? All right. First I'm just Goku. saying. <laughs> yeah. Knowledge on you. It's where You're super big Saiyan right shit. now. Goku, the main the main character of Dragon Ball Z, is a Saiyan, and a Saiyan are a race of super powerful monkeys. Yeah. That's why they're apes. Yeah. And when they go Super Saiyan five, they turn to their natural ape form. I'm with you. Fuck this show. Why? Hot the take. Fuck? You're right. You're wrong. Fucking canon. We are air says fuck so, Dragon Ball and fuck super Dragon Ball. Saiyan I, I will agree with that. Under protest and duress. So why the fuck are they? Why aren't they just apes to begin with, and then they turn into fucking humans to be because the fucking apes, most powerful? They can't control themselves and they destroy everything. Hobbs, 
Uh, so why is it there has to be four other Super Saiyans before that? And then and they just got bored of numbers and were like, oh, he's going Super Saiyan Blue now. First of all, it's <laughs> GT and that's Dragon Ball Super. I don't count that. It's, it's the all the fucking, fucking shit. Say. It's not the same shit. No one's gonna look at my fucking turn <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> One more hot take. You had one more, you said. Yeah, I don't give a shit about Nightmare Before Christmas either. <sighs> God. What's this? Damn it. What's, What's this? this? What's, What's this? this? What's come out of your mouth? <laughs> I, uh, Jack Skellington can fucking suck it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, know, you know, I think the movie's good. It's, I appreciate it's, it. But it's all right. Do I, I watch that? it at Halloween? Do I watch it at Christmas? I don't <laughs> fucking know. What it's the fuck way is over this high. fucking movie? It's way over high. Uh, I can't lose shit no. over I know. I, that, it, it's your fucking little clock thing I'm, that I saw up there that was like, you know what? I really don't care about this I, fucking You know movie. what? And you've said that before. If you go back and watch the... <laughs> the video game that we the, played. Yes, exactly. If you go back and watch The Night Before Christmas, we are air on Quack Attack 5000. Please watch it. You will find out that Jake is not a fan. I am a huge fan. I cannot yeah. get on that. You guys know that I love it. I think you also love it like I do. Ethan, <laughs> are you a fan? He's fucking mad. He's fucking Mortal Kombat. He's fucking Shark Eye. <laughs> oh, yeah? Going for the throat? I got I one for you. you. I can't say that. Yeah, that Ethan, are you, <laughs> Ethan, are you a fan of Nightmare for Christmas? Uh, it's okay. I'm, I side more with Jake on this one. I love it. It's fine. It, and for it you. But... Because of the nature of this podcast, the We Are Air podcast, now officially, Stamp It hates Nightmare Before Hobby Christmas. Under the rest? Uh, no, 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 we, we have to, we'll, we'll do a, a halfway. It's 50 okay. Because y'all like this one. I will say <laughs> once again, I think everything that has been said shall be canon, and we all think fuck the Nightmare Before Christmas. And so it is. I fuck just wanted to see how Christmas. Hobby felt about that. All right. So, Hobbs? Yo. So let it be written. So let it be written. Hobbs? Yeah. 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 You're making me look at the geek and just drop it. <laughs> Dubs are better than subs, bud. That is fucking bullshit. Oh, no, hot take. No, that's bullshit. Oh, I, I fucking I, I are hard, so much better. Hard disagree with this. Also, Kung Fu Hustle. If you watch that shit with a fucking dub over, it is horrible. Subtitles on Kung Fu Hustle is the shit. Fucking bingo. What the fuck? You watching dubs? <laughs> hot take. But if you're watching uh, some fucking bullshit anime, no, we're talking about anime at this point. We're talking okay, anime. So then, yeah, anime. you have to don't have the fucking, fucking dubs, right? The dubs you have to have the dubs. Fuck, <laughs> you can just tell like American voice actors are just phoning that shit in for fucking pay, but those Japanese voice actors are fucking putting their heart and soul into it. Did you that's, say the, it. that's part of the reason why I don't like the fucking Dragon Ball bullshit. <laughs> Motherfucking China man worked over at fucking Funimation. Fun, uh, Funimation over in goddamn fucking Fort Worth that fucking dubbed the fucking stupid goddamn Dragon Nuts. Dragon uh, Ball Z Fumo Alchemist are the only anime series that actually have a uh, Majin Buu or Any fucking Zatch Bell. That's fucking yeah. garbage. Zatch Bell, fuck you. Fuck Zatch Bell. Fuck you. The sub was better. <laughs> no. No. Oh, Are they talking God, about no. Zach from the Saved by the Bell? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Any anime is always going to be far more superior than the dub from any American. Wow! Hot, <laughs> 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 Hot take. Anime is fucking stupid. You can go fuck yourself with that one. <laughs> and on that note... You win. You win. <laughs> on that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to the We Are Air podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Right. Please share with your friends if you did. Uh, go to our YouTube page at Quack Attack 5000. Also, share the podcast, Stitcher Pod, being Apple iTunes. I think it's on there. I'm not sure. Yeah. And check out Heroes Giros. Yes, please. Awesome. Heroes it's fucking Giro. amazing. Yes. We pose it to uh, We Are Air. And also, Jake's podcast with Dan Danzy. Crowd's which, fault. That's right. Fucking hilarious. And this has been Duck. I've been here with... Jake. And... Anime sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say Javi, though? Javi, Javi, Jake. Jake, and then our special guest, Ethan. And thank you so much for joining us. And yeah, uh, yeah. anime sucks. Is that what we said? Yeah. <laughs> it's canon. Yeah. Canon. Not canon. Not canon. Not canon. Not canon. Not canon. Not canon.